Hello, I am Professor Vishala Patnam. This is in continuation with the talk I had on Who Am I? Part 2. In the first part, I dealt about the psychic energy, its components and its characteristics. It works on pleasure principle, ID, id. Ego, it works on reality principle. Superego, it works on moral principle. The psychic energy has id, ego and superego. So, a lot of interaction goes on every moment among these energies. Whichever energy we have at a higher level, that dominates in the total process of our thinking, behavior, responding to the environment. For example, if we have higher levels of conscience, that is superego and ego and less percentage of aid, always we do wonders, we become very happy and healthy and outgoing individuals because we mind our business. We don't do wrong things and we are confined to always right and constructive things but does not happen always ego sometimes gives up to id when id predominates ego that is the time we do many wrong thoughts come to us we exhibit wrong behavior we get involved in bad or wrong deeds and we sometimes even we get destroyed ourselves or we get we do destroy others sometimes even the institutions also get destroyed because of the people in the controlling positions of it what happens when it dominates or predominates ego and ego does the unwanted things, unacceptable things. Later, in front of the conscience, ego regrets. And to justify its acts, ego starts using defense mechanisms. Most of us adapt defense mechanisms when we are unable to face anxiety, provoking situations or our instincts, our desires when they are harmful or unacceptable to make it look nice for others we use defense mechanisms. The first defense mechanism mostly used is denial. We deny that we our attitude was wrong our thoughts were wrong, our behavior was wrong, our deeds were wrong. So this is a denier. So we always, we deny and justify that we were never wrong. Flat. Second is projective technique. We project. Suppose if I don't like somebody, I don't say that I don't like her. Instead that I say she does not like me. Mostly we see in our relationships, we have to really understand whether the person who says they do not like me, whether she or he does not like them or they do not like it. Projection technique. Second one, the person who has negative thinking, very low values, always they do bad things and they put on others. They project a bad partner who already has bad behavior tells that one the wife has a bad behavior. They project on somebody. The third defense mechanism people adopt is fantasies, fantasization. Getting into the fantasy world Rarely, sometimes is okay, but mostly or all the time in fantasizing situation, if they get in, they become mentally ill.
fantasizing is a dull student feels that when he has become an IS officer then he has very good position people are respecting him and in all the subjects failing in the class but fantasizing that one he is going to become a collector or IS officer one day sixth one is repression deliberately forgetting the responsibility or important work and they keep on postponing it one fine day they get caught red-handed and when they have to face the penalty then they get into the deep depressions and they also develop a lot of health issues so repression is deliberately forgetting and postponing the work because it wants pleasure doing work is a not pleasurable thing for many seventh one is rationalization giving very valid excuses to cover up the mistakes or misbehavior they have done in life at home or outside the home seventh one rationalization justifying one's wrong acts wrong behavior whatever the wrong things they have done by giving valid reasons if it is done every time very frequently irrespective of the circumstances the individual becomes victim of this defense mechanism can become a failure in life eighth one displacement this also mainly we see in people diverting fear anger or any emotion to a another person for example if an employee is upset with his boss because he cannot exhibit his anger on the boss he comes home diverts that anger on his wife or on his kids by misbehaving with them displacement this is also is very dangerous because when this emotion is displaced the other innocent person becomes the victim and they develop the feeling of injustice is done to them so the relationships get ruined ninth is reaction formation the individual exhibits the opposite emotion outside suppose if the person hates a, a person he shows so much love he showers so much affection on him or her on a so it is in a way cheating the person who wants to touch a woman beautiful woman he says that actually he has a wrong intention of touching her because he fell in love with her beauty but outwardly he says that she is my sister in with by telling those words he gets easy access to touch her similar a highly corrupt person keeps giving donations and shows that he is very loving and caring for the people but in fact he would be cheating them a lot tenth defense mechanism is identification in identification people just pretend that they are okay with the decision taken by the by taken by the authority or elderly family member or a friend or a leader anybody just they show their identification inside they are not for it afterwards when the work has to be done it is not done because everybody made false promises false expression they gave that is why nowadays the words of people and the actions of the people do not match because many try to identify themselves 11th one is sublimation 
the negative or positive emotions, especially negative, the fear, anger, or the grief that is swallowed and they divert it in their gaze, boxing. Twelfth one, intellectual insulation. Gradually they insulate their emotions. When they have to face a worse situation, they are happy to face it boldly because they have insulated themselves. For example, a child who was not doing well in the exam, when the parents ask how was the exam, he keeps saying that one, the papers were tough, out of syllabus questions have come. When he fails in the exam, when the parents ask him, he says, I kept telling you that this year I have not done well. Twelfth, emotional insulation. The person gets emotionally prepared gradually to face very painful situation in life. For example, if a parent or a child is in critical condition, listening to doctors that there are no hopes, he may survive, chances are very less. Listening to that, the parent or the child gets used to that painful situation for few days when that person or a child dies the family is not totally in shock they are in a better condition emotionally to cope up with that situation undoing or doing the compensation this is also another defense mechanism people whenever they make mistakes once their conscience is very strong they realize it and they try to do the compensatory things for the people whom they have cheated whom they have hurt they do the good things and get rid of that guilt feeling all of us use one or other type of defense mechanisms sometimes in our life. But if we use these defense mechanisms very frequently in many circumstances, definitely we will be ruining our own life and the lives of others. That is why what am I is very, very important. This id, ego and superego keep changing. That is why our behavior, our attitudes, our values are never consistent in life. If it is consistent and if we always are very responsible, behave so well, definitely that person has higher levels of ego and superego psychic energy than it psychic energy. When we understand these energies, defense mechanisms, our mind characteristics, it is easy for us to understand, to control our own self, not to become the victim of it all the time. We become more responsible, more healthy, more happy and more progressive if we develop the psychic energy of ego and superego in us. Here the ego is the energy which works on reality principle and superego is psychic energy which works on moral principle. That is superego is nothing but conscience, righteousness, having dharma value in us that person always becomes happy healthy progressive and an extraordinary human being so let us understand what am i